So the next that we are going to be looking at is the electrical test. So basically, we can carry out a few electrical tests on this low voltage circuit breaker. So we can perform a resistance measurement on the voltage connections as we explained earlier, okay? With uh, our low resistance ohm meter or the milliohm meters. So like on this voltage connection now, we can place, since the bias is exposed, we can place the one of the probe here and then the other on top the boat, okay? So that is to verify the resistance between the boat and the bar to be sure that they are firmly made, okay? So that's how we test for the low resistance on, that is test for the resistance on those booted connections. So we we'll do that for all the terminals, okay? And we can test from here to here too, to see that the resistance is uh, as close to zero as much as possible. We can close the circuit breaker and test between the phases. So that will give us the resistance of the contact, okay, in the circuit breaker. That is this contact, this movable contact and the stationary contact. So the resistance between it, once it is closed, we'll be able to get it when we put one of the probe of the digital, that is the micro ohm meter or the low resistance meter, one year and one year, okay, across the faces, okay. So that's the low resistance test that we can carry out for phase one, phase two, phase three on each of those breakers. So this is an example of the meter that we can use. So it's just for us to turn this selector switch to the milliohm range or low resistance range for us to do the low resistance reading. So the next that we'll do is uh, the insulation resistance test. Since we are looking at low voltage, if it is 415 volts, we can use the 1 kV, that is 1000 volts range. We we'll select this and then we will test the insulation between phases, between phase 1 and 2, between 1 and 3, and then between, uh, between uh, 3 and 2, okay? And then between each of the phases and ground. 1 and ground, 2 and ground, 3 and ground. Okay, so you can check the description below for a link to insulation resistance test video if you are not familiar with it. So the contact pole resistance, as we said earlier, you also verify them. So these are the values. Okay, in case you do not have one specified for your facilities or you do not have one specified for that particular breaker by the manufacturer so this is the nominal the operating voltage okay of the breaker so here we are having since we are looking at low voltage between 250 and 600 so this is the minimum test voltage so we're looking at 1000 volts dc then this is the minimum insulation resistance that we should have between phases and between phase and ground on the circuit breaker so we can also perform other tests. The, we use uh, the circuit breaker analyzer to do this on the model case circuit breaker. Okay, we do the, the long time pickup and delay. And then we also do the short time pickup and short time delay. So we also do the the ground fault pickup and the time delay. They will also do the instantaneous pickup. Okay? And we uh, also test the trip unit, okay? By means of secondary injection. So to understand all of these uh, pickup, the ground fault, the instantaneous, the continuous, the short circuit, okay? To understand them, you can also check the description below on the explanation of uh, the circuit breaker where it is vividly explained so that you will be able to understand the function of all of these protection setting uh, devices or mechanism on the circuit breaker 
So we have both for the electronic circuit breaker. So just check the description below for a link to that video. So we we'll perform the minimal pickup voltage test on a shunt strip and close coil in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendation. So we we'll also verify the operating mechanism that they are functioning properly. So which means that we can charge the circuit breaker to see that it is charging properly. Then we we'll put it on and off. Okay. So just circle the breaker to see that the charging mechanism is operating properly.